This is lesson 5.5, the triangle inequality. Your objectives are to use the triangle inequality theorem to identify possible triangles and to prove triangle relationships using the triangle inequality theorem. The triangle inequality says that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of this third side. The quickest way to do that is to take the smallest side plus the medium side, and that has to be greater than the large side. Equal is not good enough. It has to be greater than. Is it possible to form a triangle with the given side lengths? Well, remember, check to see if the small side plus the middle side is greater than the largest side. Question 1. Side lengths 3, 4, and 6. Is 3 plus 4 greater than 6? 7 is greater than 6. So yes, that could be a triangle. Number 3. 8, 8, and 8. Is 8 plus 8 greater than 8? Yes, it is. That could be a triangle. Number 5, 4, 8, and 16. Is 4 plus 8 greater than 16? 12 is not greater than 16. That's a no. Number 2, 6, 9, and 15. Is 6 plus 9 greater than 15? 15 is not greater than 15. That's a no. Equal is not good enough. It has to be greater than. Number 4. 2, 4, and 5. Is 2 plus 4 greater than 5? 6 is greater than 5. That's a yes. You can make a triangle. Number 6. 1.5, 2.5, and 3. Is 1.5 plus 2.5 greater than 3? 4 is greater than 3. So yes, you can make a triangle with those side lengths. To check, do the small side length plus the medium side length, and that has to be greater than the large side length. Equal is not good enough. It has to be greater than. Find the range of the measure of the third side of a triangle given the measures of two sides. Number one. Two sides are one centimeter and six centimeters. We're looking for the length of the third side. Well, we don't know if the third side is the smallest, the middle, or the largest. So let's test each way and see what happens. If the third side is the smallest, I know that the small side plus the medium side has to be greater than the large side. So x plus 1 would have to be greater than 6. When you subtract 1 from each side, x has to be greater than 5. If x is the middle side, then 1 plus x has to be greater than 6. Subtract 1 again, and x still needs to be greater than 5. If x is the largest side, then 1 plus 6 has to be greater than x, which means that 7 is greater than x, or x is less than 7. So what I found out is that x has to be greater than 5 and less than 7. Now notice, 5 happens to be 6 minus 1, which is the difference of the two given sides. 
and 7 happens to be 6 plus 1, which is the sum of the two given sides. That's very important information because what I'm going to find out is that if I subtract these numbers and add these numbers together, I can find my answer much faster. So the rule to use is this. When you're given two side lengths of a triangle and you're looking for the range of values for the third side, subtract the given numbers to get the low end, add them to get the high end, and your third side is between those numbers. So if I subtract these, 6 minus 1 equals 5. If I add them, 6 plus 1 equals 7. So my third side is between those numbers. And the way to write that is that 5 centimeters is less than x is less than 7 centimeters. The third side is between 5 and 7. Number 8. If two sides of a triangle are 12 yards and 18 yards, what's the range of the length of the third side? We'll subtract to get the low end. 18 minus 12 is 6. Add to get the high end. 18 plus 12 is 30. So my third side has to be between 6 and 30. And to write that, you say 6 yards is less than x is less than 30 yards. Subtract the given sides to get the low end. Add the given sides to get the high end. And the third side is between those two numbers.